Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of November 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. Let's see what is coming up for you guys for the month of November. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading, one card card as well, so stay tuned. But no charms will be added by the way. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for Aquarians for this uh, November month time. While well, I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and uh, yep. Let's begin. Let's find out what is heading towards you for the month of November. Let's begin. Hi Priestess, pair up with four of wands. I do think you're, you are going to be intuitively very strong, uh, heightened. You you will be able to pick up signs, especially um, for, for yourself, for the people that you love uh, and the people that you live with. You will be intuitively very heightened um, during this time, especially the first few you know, weeks, like maybe first two weeks or so. Um, it, it might be continuing in the remaining month too, but I do see that, you know, that intuitiveness of yours is going to be very strong. The sixth sense is going to be very strong for you in the, in the first, especially first week is going to be magical for you. Um, you can use this time to make things happen for you, to manifest things for you, for, for making things good for, for the family too like you know it's it's um it's more like you know the time when when you know the when you think of um it's gonna be the time for you where where you know when you think of a thought it becomes reality when you think of a you know person that person shows up so you will be kind of you know uh you will be picking up you will be receptive to receive the signs from the universe guidance from the universe uh, you will be very, you know, in alignment with with the with all those divine messages and stuff. So um, I do see you will be able to pick up some good news coming your way as well, especially when it comes to your home life. It doesn't have to be directly related to you. It can be a good news coming through siblings, family members, closest one, like the initial family or maybe the external family. When it comes to you know, if you are engaged or if you are with a spouse or something, or if you are with a with the with your boyfriend girlfriend, maybe the good news is going to be around them and their family as well. So I do see that you there is going to be some sort of good news that you can sense coming towards you in the month of November as well already like you know as you start of the month you could see things coming for you you could see some sort of good news coming your way around something which can be related to directly to you as well or to to others as well so yeah let's see more cards here but i do see something good coming your way the hermit eight of swords Hold on. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, and in the deck you do have uh, Five of Cups. Uh, I think like, you know, um, you might have been doing a lot of things that you felt being guided towards. Like, you know, maybe you, you took some decisions in your love life, in other areas of your life based on your intuition you felt like you know you you are being guided you are being taken care of you are being this you are being that you're divinely guided like i mentioned earlier in the in the reading and then what happens is things don't show up exactly you were expecting maybe you were expecting to hear some good news maybe you were expecting your person to propose you maybe you were expecting your person to you know uh give you the engagement ring maybe you were expecting this and that from your person maybe you were expecting this and that from their family maybe you were expecting you know different things from 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 your life and all of a sudden, even though you are starting the month with very positive, receptive energy, you are feeling in alignment with the universe. Everything is working well for you. Everything is perfectly good. And then something is going to happen around the mid of the month, which is going to, which is going to just, uh, you know, you are completely on in each and every way. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're excited, happy, in alignment. Everything is perfect. Everything is good. You are, you're, you are very happy in terms of your emotional fulfillment. Everything is perfectly fine. And then you are, something is going to turn your switch off. And that's when you are going to have, you know, that, that, uh, you know, that mindset again, where you're going to be like questioning, 
I thought I was aligned. I thought I was this. I was th I was that, and I was hopeful. I was looking forward to it. What happened? Why it didn't come? Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? And you're gonna you're gonna just like you know um spoil your own mood, um bog yourself down emotionally, mentally, physically, and it's it's like you know it's gonna be like you know you good you're gonna go back to old ways of thinking negative 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 you don't have to do that you know this this energy is basically uh gonna get triggered by something in your maybe it's it's gonna be a thought which is going to trigger that energy maybe it's gonna be somebody else in your life maybe who's gonna say something which is going to make you make you feel like you know maybe they are right maybe nothing is going to work out maybe this and that again this this negativity here could be triggered by yourself with your negative thought maybe it can be a small little thought as well it can be in triggered from external sources as well uh which which includes uh maybe you're gonna hear somebody talk something's you know uh sick of you um in in the in the middle of the month which is going to you know start making you feel bad about yourself about the situations you are going to start feeling you know uh bad again about your current situation around the past around the future you will have low 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 lowest vibe the first half is going to be the highest vibe then you're going to have some uh maybe a week time maybe the third week is going to be slightly tough for you uh, not tough because it's more of your inner thoughts which are your, your your thoughts which are making you feel bad there's no nothing bad in reality maybe you are you are just like you know um you took uh, you know maybe some uh comment some um you know uh compliment in a negative way and i don't think that there is something which is so important that you should have given this much importance to uh to to let it spoil your mood to let it bring you down back to the you know negative vibe uh but yes i do see that you know when you are hitting that low vibe again ta da whatever that you were feeling aligned to that will come your way that will come your way and it's going to come as a surprise to you that's what i'm picking up too i need the deck to have five of cups i need that the temperance i need that three of pentacles um one thing i would suggest you stop listening to people around you like you know just just follow what you believe in uh i do see there there are people in your life who could be in your initial family too it doesn't have to be somebody outsider there are some people in your life who always like you know put put you down emotionally they always make sure they they make you feel like you are not worthy of anything they always make you feel bad about your existence at, you know it, it's that kind of a bad energy that you have it doesn't have to be somebody you know um it can be somebody within your family as well it can be somebody within the family of the person that you are dealing with but these people are pretty much close to you like you know they are a part of your circle that that you hang out with and you really have to avoid these people or if you cannot avoid them at least avoid what they are you know talking they are talking crap right now you really have to put an end to that you really have to be stop believing what they are telling you to believe just just keep yourself aligned receptive to the messages and just keep moving forward abundance is away you know um, abundance awaits you um if you allow this negativity that they are you know instilling in you 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 are going to feel that tired you are going to feel exhausted you are going to feel bad you are going to feel sad you are going to feel like you know your life is end finished nothing is going to happen because you you are very hopeful around something as you're starting of the month you know that you are on the right path you have taken all the right decisions in your life then this person whoever it is that's going to bring you down again it can be yourself again like i said mental blocks could be the case um but whatever it is you really have to basically bring yourself up from that negative vibe that low vibe and if you could do that abundance awaits you and if you fail to do that this is what awaits you low vibe negative energies and all the bad stuff so don't let that happen this is something which is yet to come because it's a november read but obviously you have the full control over the situation you can always avoid you know letting people or your own mind chatter you know fill you up with negative thoughts and you know bad feelings and all so just try avoid you know avoid uh, try avoid that and it's going to bring you what you want 
it's going to bring you what you are you know starting of the week with the with the full faith in so let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here i feel like you know uh, for some of you maybe you 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 believe in a connection uh, that you have with a specific someone it doesn't have to be somebody physical it can be maybe you have your imagination around somebody that you really want to manifest in your life maybe people are going to tell you like you know you are stupid you are following this or you are you stupid you are you know if, if we talk about the physical person like maybe there is somebody that you are interested in Maybe they're going to tell you something, you know, about them. Like, you know, you should not be considering them because they are not good or some like, uh, something like that. But whatever it is, I feel like, you know, it's um, nobody understands, nobody can understand actually what two people share together. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's very strange, but the chemistry that you two, you know, the two people have can be only, uh, can only be feel of, can only be felt uh experienced um it, it's it's something that no you know if if uh if if you tell me that you have a friend and uh if i'm not a terror reader if I, I cannot pick up energies if you tell me that uh i uh you know i have a friend and he or she did this and that so what do you think what what was his true intention i cannot tell you the true intention because the connection, the bond, you know, the, the way you usually talk to each other, what was the intention behind? Maybe they are always like, you know, funny towards you. And maybe this time around you, they, they, uh, they crack the joke, uh, crack the joke in a way where, which hurt you. But it's, it's like, you know, if, if I'm a third person and I, uh, I'm hearing your story for the first time, maybe I'm going to feel like, you know, oh, they, 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 they dragged you in a joke because of this and because of that. So it's always like, you know, I'm a third person and in my opinion would be completely different from what you basically share with each other. So don't allow, I feel like you know, your and your person's chemistry is so strong. So don't let third person, people, their opinion um, bring you down around this connection, bring you down around anything. If they, if they tell you that you, you, you guys will never be together, your person is lying to you and stuff like that, don't believe them because your person is pretty much yours. So just, just know that, you know, with this card as well, and underneath that, wow, we do have the Ten of Cups. So it's it's Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. It's like, you know, you and you, your decisions, you are starting off the month with a perfect energy. Don't let people make you feel bad around your decisions or anything. I feel like, you know, whoever these people are or one person is, it's somebody close to you. It's somebody very close to you um, who, who does that to you purposely to make you feel bad. So uh, a time for healing is the card. Look at the bigger picture is another card. So um, don't don't uh, don't let them um, don't let them remind you of the past. And if they tell you that you know this guy or this girl did this to you in the past, just let them know he or she is not the same person from the past. They have healed and you have healed too. Look at the bigger picture. So just just go ahead with what you believe in. Trust the universe, trust and keep keep the faith intact. Don't let them sway you away from the right path because that's exactly what they are doing. Again, they could be this, your mind chatter as well. Just be mindful of that. If that's the case, you really have to stop the mind chatter with a positive affirmation. So let's see which color is going to be lucky for you in the month of November. Plum, overcome your challenges. For some of you, your challenges could be dealing with your mental blocks around you know this person around love overall or if not uh, it can be dealing with the, your own personal challenges maybe about your looks about those kind of things or if not then it's about dealing with the people who always bog you down you will have to uh, face them and they, they will be the most challenging part because i feel like you, know, you are very happy but they are you know to avoid them to Ignore what they are trying to instill in you is going to be the great biggest challenge for you for the month of November. So yeah, uh, this will be it coming up for you for the month of November. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.